Welcome to Raven Silver. Please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell, like this video, and share. Here we go again. They're trying to erase the trans women, the trans men, the trans people. I want to share this story with their life of what's going on now with the Trump administration. Get prepared. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Trump administration erases transgender civil rights protection in health care. A final rule on Friday, Department of Health and Human Services means that the federal government no longer recognizes gender identity as an avenue for sex discrimination in health care. Now, this theory is being reported as of June the 12th, means today at 7 p.m., which means a few hours ago. Washington, the Trump administration on Friday, on Friday finalized a regulation that will erase protection for transgender patients against discrimination by doctors, hospitals, and health companies and move announcement for a four-year anniversary of the massacre of the gay nightclub in Orlando and the middle of Pride Month. The rule, which does not differ much of a proposal version released last year, the part that brought Trump's administration efforts across the multiple areas of policy includes education, housing, and unemployment, as well as health care to narrow down the legal de definition of sex discrimination so it is not Include a protection for transgender people. The Affordable Care Act of 2000, 2010 law offers orphans known as Obamacare um, established boards civil rights protection for health care bearing discrimination based on color, um, nation, nationality, origin, origin, sex, age, disability of any health programs, activities to receive federal finance assistance. The Obama administration interpreted that the provision about sex discrimination included discrimination on a gender basis identity under the original two 2016 rule healthcare providers and insurers will have been required to provide a covered uh, medically appropriate treatment for transgender patients now roger the director of office of the director of the office for civil rights in the department of health and human services department the unit responsible for the rule said that interview on friday that the move was of equivalent to housekeeping and that the federal government was updating this books to reflect the legal real reality that the sex discrimination language does not express as far as legal status of transgender people the Obama rules has been tied up litigation for several years and the Trump administration has declined to enforce it, citing the court ruling that the judge on fourth, fourth word that means that the final rule does not have any immediately practical effects as far as the court that considers identical legal um, questions found in the favor of Obama administration interpreting that Mr. Mr. Um, Roger, who attained Prominence and the social conservatives that joined the Trump administration said the health providers were still free to adopt their own gender identity policies that were health insurers. It is not the rule of federal bureau to impose their own meaning of the word and representative of their into law, he said. Now, Roger also defended the time of the rule leasing during the Pride Month and that Paul's nightclub anniversary saying it is truly coincidental. Transgender rights advocate criticized the time in which another reason as far as the coronavirus. It is really, really horrendous. It is really, really horrendous that to not only gut non-discrimination protection for the gut, non-discrimination protection for the middle of the pandemic, says um, Redreco, the deputy executive of the National Center for Transgender Equality. The rule opens up the door for medical providers to turn someone away for a COVID-19 test just because they happen to be transgender. The announcement is also prompt the outcry for the human rights campaign, prominent lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer advocacy, which said is playing to sue the Trump administration. Of that, um, transgender and queer advocacy groups was said it plans to sue the Trump administration. We will not let this attack on our best 
right to be free from discrimination in healthcare uh, go unchallenged. We will see them in court and continue to challenge all of the elected officials to rise up against the blatant attempt to erode, erode critical protection for, of people. Need to sanction discrimination and organizations said in a statement. Roger, who spent seven years in the civil rights enforcement at the Justice Department and once oversaw the DeVal Center for the Religion of Civil Service Heritage Foundation, said that the Trump administration would defend the decision in court. Roger has ex extensive experience litigation, religious liberty cases. His current office is responsible for investigating discrimination violation in health care. Oh. Katie Key, who teaches health law in Georgetown University, said as closely tracked the areas of civil rights laws that the rule finalized Friday needed to be seen as part of the broad and prod of regulation changes to eliminate the civil rights protection for transgender people and establish a definition on sex being biological determined by birth. That idea is what we are pushing forward on all of the different policy angles across different agencies teach that. So Katie, who teaches the um, health law in Georgetown University, has closely tracked this area of civil rights law, said the rule finalized Friday needed to be seen as a part of the broadening of the regulation chain to eliminate the civil rights protection for transgender people. So Katie wants to help eliminate two and the biological determination as far as the birth, that idea is what we are pushing forward to as far as the different policies and goes across different agencies, rolling back the health care rules that has been the cause of social conservatives since the employment, including Roger, who criticized while in the Heritage Foundation that they have accused Obama administration to coercion coercing doctors into sexual reassignment surgeries, operation procedures that are typically handled by specialists under the rule issued by Rogers that office last year will provide additional conscience protection for the healthcare co-workers, healthcare workers, religious or moral objections and type of care the rule has been voted by several um, federal courts. The rule is reversed the rule also reverses about provision of original Obama administration interprets that this um, statute of elimination against anti-discrimination protection for patients, history, and pregnancy termination. It rolls back requirements that providers and insurers must routinely notify the patients about their availability in foreign language translation and important documents. Wow. Oh, you know what? I just want to share this with y'all. I know y'all wait for me to say something, but you know what? I can't. I think I'm going to bed. I, I think I better go to bed because I'm uh, my eyes are bloodshot. And I'm just think I've been reading too much and too much into everything today. And um, Obama's whole purpose in office just attack everything. I mean, Trump's whole goal in life is to attack, attack everything Obama did in office. And you know what? It is sad. It is sad. But you know what? I ain't gonna worry about it. You know why? The chicken says come to roost. And with everything these people throwing out here into this universe that's negative, God is gonna send it back. Watch what I tell you. Every unclean thing he done to pack the people, there's a mighty wind coming, and God is going to send it back. And when it comes, watch how he react. Watch how all these people 
who's doing all this stuff, watch how to act. Because when karma hits and knocks on their door, they ain't going to be prepared. Because karma going to come after them worse than they ever can imagine. So the karma is going to get them for what they're doing. Y'all watch and see. Let's get our popcorn and get ready. Because Trump administration and everybody that's doing these things against people, y'all going to get your just too. The same way these cops are good. The people going after the cops, y'all going to get y'all just due too. Because you know what? You're going to reap what you sow. And I promise you one thing. You may think you're getting away with it, but God sees all things. And when you hear that thump, thump, thump on the door, and you keep walking to the door, and you see nobody there, that's God letting you know your time is up. My thing is this. God sees all things. And when you do mean things to people, karma will come and get you. And when karma shows up, don't get all upset. Because it is unrealistic and it is such a shame that you spent your whole administration attacking Obamacare. Your whole administration attacking this man. And for what? You could have took it to the next level, but you refused to do it. And it's funny because he said, he, anyway, I, I'm not going into Trump. I can't. Y'all can comment below on this. Y'all can share the way y'all can. I, I can't do it with him. I can't. It's not enough aspects in the world for make me talk about that man. I'm sorry. I just want to do this story so y'all can um, share it if you want. It is what it is. I've been looking for your feedback. Like I said before, we're not being raised. We're human beings. There's always somebody that's going to help us out. At the end of the day, there's a bunch of earth angels walking on this earth. So best to believe they see the devil in the devil's playground. But there's a bunch of angels running after each and every last one of us to make sure we are okay. Trust and believe God got your back. Baby, when God got your back, Y'all ain't got to worry about it. Anyway, like I said before, subscribe to my channel at the top of this Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. Let's I love you. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain.